What's up guys? Welcome to Dope and Dusty, and today we're finally gonna be able to review the Grabowski's Pizza. Last time I came, they were closed. Um, they were only had an open house one night, and I came the next day and they were just closed. Today, they are not open on the inside, but they're allowing like takeout orders, so I ordered one. I need to go in there real quickly. It should be ready by just right now, so I don't want it to get cold or anything, but we're also gonna be reviewing the Soy Cubano Papaya. A legendary strain, and I know Soy Cubano is gonna kill it. I can't wait to open it up and basically give a, guy, a review for you guys. But first, let me go ahead and go inside and grab the pizza because I it should be ready immediately and I want to get that pizza while it's hot and everything. And lastly, I am going to be also going over my new Puffco Peak setup and my new settings with the 3D chamber. And that's probably going to be towards the end of the video after I review the papaya and the pizza. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So I just made it back in from Grabowski's. What was really cool is like the lady i guess the lady that prepared my pizza came out and like handed me the box and everything and was like oh you're welcome to have a slice she opened it up for me to kind of see it and everything and i was like oh that looks good i really like the service i just i i, I didn't need a slice in there because i wanted the first slice to be on camera but first let's go ahead and get into the papaya i have tried the papaya before from them just not uh not this batch not this round so this is such a legendary strain a lot of companies will drop this. I think like Dab Logic, um, who else? Mighty Melts has the papaya. And those two papayas to me are very different. But I've been told by people that it is just the date that they harvest. So it, it, it's changed. It gets more funky if you wait a little bit longer. And it's more fruity if you if you harvest it a little bit earlier. But let's go ahead and get, do a review on this one. Let me turn off the air in here. All right. Oh, wow. Guys, you know how the Soiku balls are normal a ball? When, to me, from what I've noticed, is the really, really nice strains from Soiku tend to melt down from the ball. Like, they don't stay in that ball shape. They'll melt down. That's exactly what happened here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And I'll get y'all a close-up with my camera here in a second. But yeah, it melted down for sure. Wow. The smell from that is like funky fruit, and there's like a menthol, a small, small dash of menthol hint in there to me. Yeah, the smell coming off of this with the menthol with the menthol hint is 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 giving me like a a, a clean funky fruit smell. Wow, it smells really really good. I can't wait to dab this. Let me go ahead and record a little video of this on my iPhone for you guys, and then I will load the dab in. Guys, this was definitely that freezer hash. As I'm making this video, I'm thinking about taking me a dab because I still have a little bit of this saved because it was so great. All right. I got my Gucci katana right here. This is so cool. I really like this for traveling. It's like a katana, but it it has the the sheath, so you can kind. Of, I, I believe this is called a sheath, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a sheath, so you can basically cover it, and so your dabs don't get sticky in whatever you're doing. Cause like mine got a little bit kind of sticky there, a little bit at the end. I try to keep it as clean as possible, so even the inside of this stays clean. But whenever you're on the travel, hurrying, sometimes that doesn't always happen. Let's go ahead and get a dab of this. Hold on, let me let me just clean this off. Whatever residue, I don't want that in the papaya jar. This papaya, I know, I can just tell by the smell, guys. It's really, really good. You can tell whenever something's good, just usually from like the smell and kind of the looks. I mean, not all the time, but most of the time. Like, the smell's there, the looks are there. The last thing is basically the taste, which we are about to see. Oh wow, and even the touch is there. It's like the, it has that same, like most, like I mentioned earlier, how the ones that melt down, it tends to have like a Cool Whip consistency. And I don't know if I'll be able to show this to you guys. Let's see. Maybe y'all can see that, hopefully. Wow. Crazy consistency. Let me get out a nice one. Check that out. And yeah, I'll go ahead and show this to the back of you guys so you guys can kind of probably see what the papaya is. It is from So Good. I didn't mention that. That is one of the new grows that Soiku is getting from So Good. And they have done really good so far. Their last papaya was quite amazing. So I have some 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 pretty good hopes for this one right here. One thing I have noticed about So Good while I'm heating this up is they tend to do like old school strains. I think they did like Sour 91 or something like that as well. And 
they they all they do they tend to do a good job with like older school strains and I'm I'm loving it. Like papayas, I would consider that as an old school strain and it does absolutely amazing. Like it tastes good, it yields I think decently well, like usually three to five percent. All right. Wow, super fruity. It almost has the same taste as, as the smell did. Not so much menthol-y though. It's like super funky fruit. Yeah, guys, if you like the fruity stuff, this is really, really nice. It's that funky fruit. <coughs> the smell has a little menthol to it. I always say that menthol doesn't really come through on the taste. If it does, it's like a dash less... <coughs> a dash less than even the smell that's already just a dash. It's testing in at 68% THC, 16% CBD, 7.29% Terps. We can take those for what we can. They're just kind of percentages. I feel like the actual taste is gonna show up more than what the terp percentage is. I, I've had some rosin with low terp percentages taste amazing and vice versa, so. Let's get on to the pizza. All right, now into Grabowski's. Now, one of my friends has told me that this is kind of like a chain place. I don't know if it is or not. The pizza looked really good though, so we're gonna see. Yeah, it does say the source. He told me it was at the source. I'm thinking he's right. I, I don't think it's there anymore though, but we're gonna see. Let's check it out. Thin pepperoni. You guys know what I normally get. I normally don't always get thin, but the pepperoni is the usual. I like to get pepperoni so I can judge everybody's pepperoni against each other. So it's like a, an even slate. I don't want to try a Hawaiian one place and pepperoni another place. And somebody else's Hawaiians is just trash. I'm judging everybody's off their pepperoni. Because you can't, you, you can't have a bad pepperoni. Like that's the very, very basic. You got to have a good pepperoni. I might go ahead and grab one of these crispy edges, the little triangles, and let's go ahead and give it a first bite review. All right, this is pretty good, but now that my friend has told me this is chain pizza and I saw that and everything, not not even just because of that, it does somewhat taste like chain pizza. So this is not like top, top tier pizza. But if I'm judging it across other chain pizzas, it is actually pretty good. I, I'm not going to put this up against like Rosalie's or Blue Pan or anything like that for sure not. But this is very, very good. Nice and crispy on the edges. I know you guys can hear that crunch. Maybe not because there's a motorcycle right there. One thing I will say though, as a little critique, their sauce is amazing. I wish they had a little bit more sauce on it. Not, not that it's bad the way it is right now, but... The sauce is really good. I'm just wishing I had more sauce. Next time I order this, I'm going to put like extra sauce. I'm even looking for more saucy slices. There's just not a lot of sauce on this. So if you are trying to try this place, I definitely recommend extra sauce. It's pretty good. I think it was 20 bucks for this though. I don't think it was worth that. This was a 12 inch and it was 20 bucks. That blue pen, I think I paid like 15, 14 dollars. And I get uh, like a Detroit small, which is this was their small, technically. I know this is a little bit bigger than Blue Pants, but Blue Pants is thick. This is, look at that. Real, real thin right there. So I think you get about the same amount of pizza, but 
I'd rather have blue pad and it's five dollars five dollars cheaper. So they did amazing with the dough though, I cannot lie. They did a really good job with the dough. Especially for a chain place. I did see them. The lady that handed me this pizza was dressed up like a chef. And they're also supposed to have this Professor Pie guy working here, I believe. I'm not sure if he'd working there if he was a celebrity chef. But I clicked his Instagram and he's supposed to be really popular upon making pizzas. I don't know if he's here helping out with the opening or what. But maybe he's part of the dough. Why the, the reason the dough is so good or something. Guys, I just had the, the most saucy slice. That thing was good. Like, right. they went too light on the sauce. I just had that saucy, that saucy slice. I had to cut the camera back on to say that that saucy slice was really, really good. Just as I had thought previously, it needed a little bit more sauce. That it, it still doesn't put it up with twenty dollars beating Boo Pan for fifteen, but that is that is pretty good. Like I will come back for that definitely, and I'm gonna order extra sauce for sure. Like. It gets at least that that enough recognition. I'm gonna definitely come back here for sure, even for the high price. But I do love pizza, guys. And since we couldn't go in, I'm gonna show you guys the outside of Grabowski's, and I'm also gonna show you guys like what it looks like right outside. Cause right now, like the fall is coming, the leaves are turning colors, and this place is actually like kind of out near the mountains. And it's in an amazing, really cool spot. I can actually see the mountains over here to my right. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So I believe I mentioned to you guys that Grabowski's was a little bit out into the mountains. So this is a little bit of the view that you kind of get to get driving out there. It makes the drive a little bit more worth it. All right, guys. So I'm taking one more dab before I go and meet one of my friend's mom for the first time. So we're going to try this papaya one more time. I will say from that first dab, it was pretty strong. When I was driving over here, I was like, wow, I could really feel it in my eyes. Like big time. Like I was like, wow, I felt like my eyes were almost red. We're going to La Diabla. I don't know if I have taken you guys here before. It's a mezcal and taco place. They have some really, really good tacos. And they have some decent mezcal. Like, they have some nice flight style. I like to try that. I like the whole flight type of thing. Yeah, guys. Overall, pretty much like the same review. It is like a fruity gassiness, slight hint of menthol in there. All right, so quite a bit of time has passed and my setup has somewhat changed, but I did wanna go over this setup with you guys. Basically, the only thing that has changed is my setup got headier. It's still the same exact style. I'm gonna go over both setups with you guys. So as you guys can see here, I clearly have a huge chamber. This is the 3D chamber, the, the 3D XL chamber. And as this is where it changes quite a bit. And it's going to be with this small little top. And basically, this is a dry top. There's no water in here. So I don't have to worry about spilling it or anything like that. And yeah, guys, this, this basically, it turns it into something really, really small. As you guys can see how small this is, it basically turns it into a proxy. But you get a huge chamber and then you also get the app. So it's, it's like the same dry hit of a proxy, but it's it hits way harder. Whew, I almost dropped it right there. But... I am on the grass, so it'll probably lived. This is the setup I've been going with here recently. I honestly haven't hit a wet top in probably three months. And it was probably from one of my friends he had, who had a, a wet top. So I normally don't even hit wet tops anymore. I've kind of fell in love with a dry top. So almost like I feel like I get a more pure hash taste. It's not like getting filtered through water, which has probably had, had different hash through it. So it's kind of a little bit dirty. Not that I wouldn't prefer that. It's just, you know, a dry top's kind of convenient for when I'm on the go. Don't have to worry about spilling any water into my battery or anything like that. So that's why I've kind of went with the dry top and that and the flavor. I just kind of feel like I can somewhat taste the hash just a hair a bit more when there's no water. 
in the puffco and guys you can also basically just pour the water out of your tops and make it into a dry top and it's going to work nearly the same way as basically this little small top but what this small top does is it saves me a lot of space so whenever i am going anywhere i can just put this in my jacket pocket or in my pants pocket if i'm careful not to break it or anything so yeah that's that's kind of why i like the the little small dry top i like to call them chop tops and here's just to give you guys a closer look at the evo glass and what's so crazy about this is this glass is almost even with the 3d chamber that's how crazy short this top is. this is my current setup right now it's still a same dry top it is a little bit taller so i do lose a little bit of space but this is made by gates glass and yeah it's just it, it's it, it looks amazing the color on it it has some fuming on there a fumicello i'll have a little i'll have a you guys will probably now be seeing nicer shots of it right now than what i can show you here is a close-up on the gates dry top that front camera definitely wasn't doing it justice what's really cool here is the sun came out just in time for me while i was making this video to make that blue and the fume really really pop so you guys could really really see what this piece looks like i love looking at this right before i take a hit it looks so beautiful and so basically what i did want to say about these is they are basically the exact same they're both dry tops this one's just a little bit taller and looks a lot cooler and there's a cool story behind it so one of my best friends actually ordered two of these nearly exactly the same one of them just has a little bit of a purple tint to it and this one like has a blue tint to it and yeah so i ended up buying one of these off of him and so now we have like a matching set so that's pretty cool so i was i was editing my video i realized i forgot to give you guys my settings with the new 3d chamber so i was going to go ahead and go over them with you right now so basically the temperature that i used in that video right there and the temperature i had been using for the longest time had been 509 at max for a minute and five seconds so that's exactly what you guys if you guys want to replicate somewhat replicate the smoke that i had in this video those were my settings with the 3d xl chamber now, what I have been using as of in like the past two weeks, and it's just because I've been wanting to create a little bit more clouds and have a little bit more of a hit to it. I've been having 534 at max for 58 seconds. So those are my settings. And the 534 has been what I've been using mostly here recently. If you're somebody who's just watching this video and you want to know what's the best settings for you, I'd recommend starting around around that 509 for about 45 seconds uh, that to me is going to be perfect for you and then if you don't you know you want a little bit more you can turn up the temp or if the smoke production is fine with you you can just maybe depending on your dab size you can go up or down in the time and all right guys that's going to wrap it up for this episode and until the next smoke session on dope and dusty see you guys later